Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Running an executable file, like a.exe file, from a Java application can be done using the process builder or runtime.exec classes. Below, I will provide a tutorial on how to achieve this with examples. Hashtag 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 tutorial, running an exe file from Java. Hashtag 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 step 1, setting up your Java environment. Make sure you have the following. Java Development Kit, JDK, installed. A Java IDE, like IntelliJ IDEA, Eclipse, or any text editor. An executable file, for example, example.exe, that you want to run. Hashtag 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 step 2, using Process Builder. Process Builder is a more flexible way to start processes in Java. It allows you to set the working directory, redirect input slash output streams, and more. Hashtag 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 example code. Hashtag 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 step 3, using runtime.exec. Runtime.exec, is another way to execute an external program, but it is less flexible than Process Builder. Hashtag 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 example code. Hashtag 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 important notes. One path to the executable, ensure that the path to the .exe file is correct. You may need to escape backslashes, backslash backslash, or use forward slashes, slash. To working directory, if your executable depends on files in a specific directory, ensure that you set the working directory correctly using process builder dot directory. 3. Process output, if you need to capture the output of the executable, you can redirect the output stream using process builder dot redirect output, or by reading from the input stream of the process object. For error handling, always handle I.O. exception and interrupted exception to deal with potential issues when starting the process. 5. Permissions, ensure that your Java application has permissions to execute the file, especially on systems with strict security settings. 6. Platform dependency, remember that .exe files are specific to Windows. If you plan to run your Java application on different operating systems, you'll need to handle OS-specific executable formats, like .sh for Unix slash Linux. Hashtag 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 conclusion. You can run an executable file from a Java application using either Process Builder or Runtime.exec. Process Builder is generally preferred due to its enhanced capabilities and flexibility. Always ensure that paths are correct and handle exceptions appropriately for a robust application.